it seems that everyone's talking about Area 51 right now. This renewed interest isn't random, however. It comes on the heels of a Facebook event that was created about a month ago and quickly gained a great deal of attention. Its purpose? To encourage people to attempt to storm the elusive Air Force base on September 20th, 2019 to quote, see them aliens according to its description. Likely a joke, it seems to be the only thing anyone's talking about. Despite all the buzz, the question remains, what exactly does go on at Area 51? Many theories have developed and circulated over the years ranging from aliens to the paranormal, and each is certainly stranger than the last. Welcome to 10 Facts, and today we'll be looking at 10 theories about Area 51 and what takes place there. Before we get started, don't forget to smash the like button, hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos, and hit subscribe for more Top 10 content. Number 10. There are more areas than 51. According to Susan Heller of Insider.com, it is unclear why the top secret Air Force base is even referred to as Area 51. It begs the question, are there other areas, she asks? The area is referred to by other names as well. Groom Lake, Paradise Ranch, Dreamland, after an Edgar Allan Poe poem, with its official moniker being the Nevada Test and Training Range. But it's Area 51 that is stuck with the popular consensus, and no one is even certain of its origins. It's an interesting question to ponder, one with even sinister connotations. To think that there may be even more clandestine government facilities and test sites scattered throughout the country whose purpose are unknown to the public. Do you think perhaps there could be other secret area testing sites? Let us know in the comments below. Number 9. Area 51 engages in government surveillance. One of the more comparatively realistic theories surrounding Area 51 is that it's also a government surveillance facility, one that spies on US citizens. As an active Air Force base with high-tech aircraft and drone technology being tested there, it's easy to see how this theory has gained traction in recent years, especially given the widespread attention government surveillance has received since whistleblower and former CIA employee Edward Snowden released highly classified information from the National Security Agency back in 2013. Is the government using Area 51 to spy on U.S. citizens? What do you think? Number 8. The military innovations developed and tested at Area 51 have otherworldly origins. The connection between Area 51 and outer space is a deep one, one that has been theorized for much of the Air Force's base existence, but we'll discuss that later. Sightings of UFOs or unidentified craft have been reported in the Nevada desert for over 60 years, though they're likely the result of strange aircraft that have been manufactured and tested there. Such military innovations as the U-2 stealth bomber plane and Kevlar have come out of Area 51 and thus drawn the attention of the average citizen and conspiracy theorists alike for their strange appearance and advanced durability. Could these innovations be inspired by alien technology? What are your thoughts? Number 7. Area 51 is expanding. In an Area 51 thread on Reddit, user Oversteez recently posted side-by-side -side comparison photos of Area 51, one from April 2012 and another from April to October 2017. His consensus? that the facility is in fact expanding. Admittedly, the 2017 images shows a considerable amount of newer buildings that weren't present in the April 2012 one. The Air Force Base is located in a remote, desolate location far from any public access roads, so the changes are stark and quite apparent against the desert backdrop where it's located. What could be the reason for this expansion? Could something more sinister be at work? Number 6. Time Travel Buckle up, Marty. Where we're going, we don't need roads. While Doc Brown's time-traveling DeLorean might not be one of the top secret military vehicles being tested at Area 51, some people believe that time travel could be one of the many frontiers that the US government and military are researching there. How this might be accomplished, and by what means, no one can say, but we're hoping that the hot tub time machine is one of the inventions. Number 5. Paranormal Research Overall, it seems that people are more willing to believe in extraterrestrial life than ghosts, unless it's space ghosts, remember? Anyone? Never mind. However, there's a small percentage of conspiracy theorists out there who believe that Area 51 is a hub of paranormal activity and that the US government is attempting to harness it for potential military exercises. Number 4. Interdimensional Travel One theory that has been circulating more recently is that Area 51 is trying to, or maybe already figured out, interdimensional travel but don't expect to see the Demigorgon or Mind Flayer behind the chain link fence. And if they have been found, let's hope they've been contained. Number 3. Area 51 is a HARP research facility. According to the University of Alaska Fairbanks website, HARP, or High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program, is a scientific endeavor aimed at studying the properties and behavior of the ionosphere. 
In other words, it's a government-funded program by both the U.S. Air Force and Navy aimed at studying weather and meteorological phenomena. A device known as the Ionosphere Research Instrument, or IRI for short, sends a high-frequency signal to a small part of the ionosphere, while a myriad of the other instruments records its findings. While this action may seem simple enough, there are a number of conspiracy theories that surround it, the most notable being that HARP uses its tech as a weapon to control or alter the weather and the environment. The concept may seem far-fetched, but even the Venezuela leader Hugo Chavez believes that the earthquake that rocked Haiti in 2010 was the result of HARP's research. So how does this all fit into Area 51? Well, a few years ago, a YouTuber, who has since removed the video, captured footage of a particularly intense storm out in Nevada desert, not far from the famed Air Force Base. This set off a wave of conspiracy theories in the comment section, stating that the storm was caused by a HARP-like program that had been established at the site. While the Nevada desert is no stranger to such phenomenon, it nonetheless sparked a great deal of debate. Do you think Area 51 is controlling the weather? Let us know in the comments. Number 2. The Super Soldier Program Move over, Steve Rogers. According to conspiracy theorists, the Super Soldier has been a concept since the days of the Cold War. There are those who believe that the U.S. military is using the facility for, among other things, the training of military personnel in parascientific methods of combat in order to create the ultimate or super soldier. Welsh journalist John Ronson chronicles the U.S. military's attempt at just that, particularly during the Cold War, in his 2004 non-fiction book, The Men Who Stare at Goats, which was later adapted for the screen. Ronson writes that the military at the time experimented with New Age tactics and psychic phenomena such as remote viewing, astral projections, death touch, and even mind reading against various Soviet targets. No super serum here, but the idea that the US military may be working on creating the super soldier is both intriguing and frightening to say the least, as we seriously doubt that an army of super soldiers would be anything like the Avengers. Number 1. Aliens. Yes, it's that time to cue the aliens meme. More than anything else, Area 51 has been synonymous with aliens in outer space almost since its inception. Military testing began taking place in its remote outpost of the Nevada desert during World War II, but was not officially acquired until 1955, when it became the secret Air Force base it is today. Since then, reports of strange lights in the sky as well as UFO sightings have made the area a breeding ground for all manner of conspiracy theories. As previously stated, many people feel that the aircraft that has been tested and developed at Area 51 is quite unlike anything man-made, insinuating that such designs may have their origins somewhere beyond the stars. Not only that, but it is believed that extraterrestrials themselves have been captured and experimented upon within the facility itself. American physicist Bob Lazar claims to have been a former employee at Area 51 and has even written entire books on his experiences reverse engineering extraterrestrial technology at a site called S-4, located several kilometers south of Area 51. He also recalls witnessing an alien autopsy in which scientists at the base attempted to study and analyze a deceased extraterrestrial subject. Such claims are hailed as both hoaxes and facts, but no matter what you believe, the relationship between Area 51 and aliens continues to be virtually inseparable. With various towns and regions in southern Nevada cashing in on the alien theme business, even the main highway, Nevada State Route 375, is known as Extraterrestrial Highway. That's all for this edition of 10 Facts. Thanks for joining us and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to be notified about every new video and be sure to share. We'll see you next time.